So guys, how everybody doing? Hope everybody doing good because I am. Shout out to the payout gang, Jack. Shout out to the new subscriber too. All right, <clears throat> check this out. Right, all right. Look, I don't care what nobody say. We got receipts. No, I'm talking about. We got Zach caught up. We got Miss Teresa caught up. We got Lenora caught up. We got everybody that was in the room. They got caught up, right? Check this out. Now, it's a lot of people that was fooled about Zach. I was one of them. I admit, I was one of them. And a lot of y'all confessed that too. Because I didn't see their comments. Like, what? Zach? He got something to do with it? Oh, man. No, this can't be true. But he burnt his own bridges. Lyra Nora burnt her own bridges. Mr. Riesel burnt her own bridges. You see what I'm saying? We all see what's really going on. <clears throat> We've been here for six years, going on seven years. And we all been manipulated with a lie. We've been misled for six years. Now it's time to put this. Come on, yeah. In my 54 key voice. Y'all ride with me and what? Check this out, right, y'all? Now, look. Thumb me up if we got an understanding on Zach TV. Before you make that decision, I'm going to give you a recap for the people that don't know what's going on with Zach TV. I'm going to give a recap for the people, you know what I'm saying, uh, like... Oh, you saying Zach was involved now? You probably ran out of content or something. You know what I'm talking about? No. Look. <clears throat> the receipts been shown. Zach slipped up. Zach got caught in the lie. Zach making alibis. Zach messed with little young girls. He got a camera. He got clout. So, you know, if you got a lot of gangsters... Want to be on his uh video and, and do interview? Just imagine what the young girls want to do to get on the video. All right. Then Mr. Reese got caught in lies. I mean, she got the call at 434 and, and then tell nobody. You was already at the hotel. Living over on the phone perpetrating that she talked to Kanika that night. You see what I'm saying? Then they already told us, look, Miss Teresa got exposed about the pocket ticket on the seats. You know what I'm talking about? And Miss Teresa on 911 called to my daughter want her on the seats. So it's something about the seats leading up to the 7 to the 8, right? Then you go to Crown Plaza with the surveillance footage. You got your understanding. <clears throat> so now check this out. In the beginning, in the beginning, This how Zach got exposed. Thank you, Juicy. Um, Fred, I see you trying to blame that shit on Zach too, huh? Fed, do your thing. Do your thing, Fed. Uh, I ain't saying nothing to you. Do your thing. Do your thing. Um, you're trying to say it was Zach, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, this says a lot about you, sir. Ooh. Uncle Fed, yeah. This says a lot about you. Mm. That's all I got to say. Mm. Mm. It says a lot about you. Mm -hmm. So, he hung it up after that. So, slowly but surely. I said, oh, damn. Boom. Uh, you could know. I ain't trying to say Zach did a motherfucking thing. What was said was Zach 
left before Kanika arrived hit New York. So how could I be saying Zach did something? Tighten up, man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Y'all erased all the tapes where y'all was implementing Zach in everything. And just to keep it a band, you know what I'm saying? Trump, you got the motherfucking green light video over there. And I don't even think you know it. I said, the truth don't need no help. You don't be bringing up all. Boom. Once again, I'm in the middle. Now, all right, like Uncle Fizz said, I ain't say Zach did anything. I ain't say that anything but word was on the street. Now y'all see how Raw was in the beginning taking up for Zach TV because Zach was getting exposed. And guess who were right along with him? Scrape drop. Scrape drop. Watch this. So it's Scrape drop and King Rob come to Zach defense cause Uncle Fed whoever Uncle Fed is I don't know who Uncle Fed is I don't know Uncle, Uncle Fed might got some inside scoop on some shit but to make a long story short Uncle Fed knows something about Zach's situation and if he understand what's going on with Zach's situation, he understand what's going on with King Rob and, 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 and Scrape Drop situation. That's why they on a panel. See what I'm saying? Now let's go back to Zach TV. Remember the Kimberly Wild story? Hey, Zach Stoner was there. Yup, and he had some dudes that was with him. Nobody don't know these dudes where well, I don't know them. I can't vouch for everybody, but I don't know them. You see what I'm saying, gang? Watch this. <clears throat> y'all y'all remember in my last live, I said, man, y'all know the story finna get crazy. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say the story finna get crazy, gang? Y'all believe me? Tell, I, I tell you what. Watch this. I'm finna jump the gun with this one. Because I'm finna get straight to the point, And I'm finna get everybody mad thinking now. So y'all remember when Zach TV, when he, uh, look, I'm finna look, I ain't even gonna say remember. I'ma just show it to y'all. You know, it's all about receipts and stuff, right? It's all about exposing, right, gang? Ain't that what it's about? It's we here for the truth, right? It's about exposing. It's about telling the truth. It's about revealing the lies. And I'm really disappointed in everybody that's in the case. Because this just let me know, bro, that us summer black people, we really screwed in the head. Not all black people, but some. Because when they come to social media, they always want to show the negative. Dude getting killed. Somebody baby mama snapping on YouTube by their baby daddy. But they ain't showing you all black people that successful got their own businesses. You know what I'm saying? That ain't just looking for handouts. It's people that got their own business, living life, making money, you know, being successful. They don't even get no clout like these suckers. You know what I'm talking about? 
But look, y'all remember when the story got crazy? Look, this was, I'm finna tell y'all, this when the story get real crazy. Yeah, yeah, look. Sure. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say it. Look, well, you two got this. The first question of the interview. The first question of the interview. I'm not even gonna do no introduction like that, man. I'm getting right into it. Were you two guys at the party when Kanika Jenkins was pronounced dead in the freezer? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Right? First question. Was y'all with her when they pronounced her dead? Yes. Why why was that the first question? Y'all wanna know why that's the first question? So that's when the security guard on camera locking Kanika in the freezer. Right? AKA the a baby smash. He said, was y'all there when they pronounced her dead? So, according to the paperwork, they're supposed to be at 12 on a Sunday morning, 12 a.m. at uh, 12.25, right? But remind y'all, P said he got the call at what time? 12 also in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Now look, if P's got the call, watch this, y'all wanna know how it's finna get real, real scary? Cause if P's got the call at 12 in the afternoon and Livernora is with Risco talking about a missing person report and Livernora leave, she go to uh, Rosemont and and she claimed to go get a missing person report but come back to the hotel with no paperwork. But the police is right behind her minutes when she arrived at Crown Plaza with paperwork in they hand stating to her, you forgot to put your signature. Now that's going to be at one something, right? At one something. Check this out. Now, they said one something. Guess what Kanika finna be, right? Because when Livernora up there at one some, guess what we also seen on the footage? Risco talking to the... The chef. Going on to some, the beverage manager. Asking this chef to leave, but we know the chef would change the clothes. They said two something. And watch what's really finna get crazy. Cause if they was at two something, guess what the video finna show when you understand it. See that? Everybody know. He finna cut the freezer on. And look what time it is. 3. 49. 3. 49. Going on 4 o'clock. Y'all see it, right? Look, everybody know what time stamp that is. They know they show the time in military time. What time that is? Now look, now this really finna get crazy too, because they're showing y'all 
that's 349 going on four o'clock. That's why Irene said, how did that freezer get turned on? Master time, master time stamp up. From four o'clock in the morning, Mr. Reese at the pool. Four o'clock in the morning, Prince Cave at the pool. Four o'clock in the morning, staff, family, and party goers is at the pool. Four in the morning. Lawyer said, two hours after that, Kanika come missing out the room. She would discover, well, she wasn't discovered in the freezer. Somebody went and locked her in there. Meaning that when we seen the sister beverage manager, they had to been round about four or five in the morning. Four or five in the morning, September the night when he locked her in there. The time skips on the footage. Right? We don't know how many minutes or how many hours when the time skip, but we just know it skip. So now you got the sister beverage manager coming back with the laws. What time would that would be? So we know the police gonna be at the pool three and four, like Kilo Brown said, right? in the morning so she gonna have some kind of knowledge about miss Teresa, the family the friends the whole setup that's why she gave us a narrative so when she was talking about those dudes think about she talking about zach and king rob and his crew right gang don't they match up now zach said sexual assault went wrong So, boom, look. Seven in the morning, Miss Teresa is at Crown Plaza front desk. Then talked to her manager, Risco, in the lobby. She never talked to Risco. Risco never presented himself. And he in the lobby, and she asking for a manager, and he never respond. They let you know they already talked and they let you know Miss Teresa wasn't up there about looking for her daughter if she was already in the pool. Now this gonna be at four in the morning. So now seven, she talking to people, going upstairs, all of this. Now she upstairs. Claiming that these people telling her these things. So when she leave there, guess guess where Miss Teresa go? to the airport police station whatever was going on there at the hotel she ended up at the crown plaza o'hara airport at the police station that's why she slipped up and said i'm at o'hara i gave y'all the location ain't this a police report in o'hara airport And the police had a whoa, whoa, wait a minute now. You talking about Crown Plaza in Rosemont? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not my bad. And guess what time there will be? Round about seven or eight ish in the morning. Seven, eight ish in the morning. Miss Teresa is at the airport. Lirinora, nowhere to be found, but she gonna pop up at 12. Go to the front office. The narrative supposed to be, I'm up here to see my sister. She on camera. I don't know if that's true or not. Cause they was if they was already in the pool and discussed what they were really talking about when they came back up to the hotel. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So boom. 
Cause, cause Lirinova get to talk to Risco now. Now Risco got the missing person report before Lirinova. So Lirinova got to check in with Risco cause he got the missing person report. Don't that make sense? This ain't speculation, these receipts. Cause that's why you never seen no signature of Lirinora or Miss Teresa on the Miss Person report. So that mean Miss Teresa had to agree with them putting her in the freezer and killing her. Them the murder charges they're gonna go to. That's why Miss Teresa said the hotel and Rosemont helped kill her daughter, but never said nothing about the rape. Never said nothing about, you know what I'm saying, what was taking Kurt in the room when her daughter was in danger. Never said nothing about all these rumors and these speculations that's going on with her daughter's name. None of that. She wasn't concerned. You see what I'm saying? So look, I realized, I said, damn. The whole time, the time stamp is right here. It's right here. It's the video link. But if you go with the time stamp up here, they are gonna show you this was going on at what time. Look, Kanika was never in room 926, gang. Y'all want to know why? Because of this. Look. Now look, matter of fact, let me get out of this, go to this. What's your name for the people, bro? Nine Keys, man. Peas, and what's your name, bro? Teefy. Teefy, and y'all both was there? Yeah. yeah. What time did you two arrive, approximately? Like 12 or something. 12 or something. Um, so, when... 12 or something. Twelve something. Now I never looked at this interview as Zach as a suspect, but I was looking at Zach as interviewing these suspects. But I didn't know that they was all a part of it. Watch how crucial this interview is. Look, gang. When you arrived at the party last Friday, uh, September eighth, uh. Last Friday, that's on the eighth. So we so Friday, this the interview. So the eighth, nineteenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. That's gonna be around the fourteenth and the fifteenth, right? Y'all see what I'm saying, guys? So look, watch this. Who I was there? Man, it was it was a uh, pack. It was uh, a lot of people there, man. Was Kanika there when y'all got to the party? Yeah, Kanika was in there, man. So she was. Our you gotta say was Kanika in there? Yes. On September the ninth in room nine twenty six. I don't think so. I don't think so. So that's how you're going to have to start the interview off with a lie. So everybody could be distracted on that lie and be stuck on the night with Irene live video trying to make sense of it. Like, wait, wait a minute. How she going to be drugged in Irene live and then walk drug in the hallways and then be dancing at the same time and all this going on? So watch this. Everybody know 230 is a big deal. 
This how you finna expose Zach TV and Miss Teresa. Cause Miss Teresa was calling the hotel at what time? Two something, right? Zach know it. Peas know it. And Killer know it. Now watch how this video finna expose everything. He should have never just did the interview. Already up. Yeah, she was done. How yeah. was she acting? Happy dancing. As soon as I walk in, I don't know why I never forget. As soon as I walked in, she shorty. You acting funny, shorty. She like that big ass smile on her face, man. Smiling mm. hard, man. What was what 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 was your relationship with Kanika? Like, how did y'all know her? My first time meeting the man, that was like, that's my man's man, my main man's. That was his uh, that was his girl, man. So. Like, oh, that was your man's girl. Yeah, it was my man's girl, man. Uh, that's the story at the time because everybody was thinking like how they how they know Kanika. That's how Rico name came up. Cause Rico supposed to be uh Kanika boyfriend at the time. At the time. But mysteriously, you got Zach TV supposed to be fucking with Kanika too. Not on that level. You know what I'm saying? They might didn't even smash before. I don't know they sexual relationship, but I'm just saying, we just going to say Kanika likes Zach, never smash him. None of that. She just knows Zach from the way, liked him, and, and she think he a nice guy. Right? So, that's why Zach want to get to when can he came up missing 2 30 oh she was in the hallway yeah she was in the hallway same thing with the police report gonna say but the whole purpose is is to protect miss Teresa. because that's when miss Teresa called in the hotel zach got to protect it so you got to have them sitting on this couch and tell you yeah she was in the room and she was drunk she was having fun and everything was cool like this Maybe that was my man's girl, so like, my first time meeting her was a couple years ago, man. And, uh, you know, by that being bro girl, you know, it's always been most uh, most respectful. Was, was your man at the party? No, he wasn't at the party, man. Uh, locked he locked up. Oh, free that guy, free that guy. Man, he actually just got out today. What? Uh, he got out today. So, so how was it when he came, how was it when he came home to see that his girl was, you know? I know my boy, I mean... You know how, you know, you know, he crushed, man. You know how they go, man. Okay, uh, okay, t tell me this. So, everybody is talking about the guy's part in that whole live video that Irene um, displayed. Uh, who was, you know, in a reflection of Irene glasses, it was a guy laid across the bed with the red sweater. Was that either one of you two? <sighs> okay, um, it was another... Man, this is sick to my stomach. Zach asking these questions and know every answer to them. That's why they, he got these people on the couch, bro. And this round the 14th and the 15th. Go back to my last live. I showed y'all. Then Zach, when he look, if he was doing this interview... A week after Kanika died on the Friday. And, and that same day, he on Facebook telling the world, man, I'm getting death threats. They telling me don't release the interviews. And, and these people talking about killing me. I'm looking at this situation like, man, Zach, Mr. Teresa. And these people finna point the finger at Crown Plaza cause they guilty of the murder. They ain't guilty of what happened in the room. Pai Yao. Thumb me up if I'm making sense, gang. Thumb me up if I'm making sense. So, 
I didn't know Zach been knowing Killer Peas T Y Moniva Teresa Nim. I ain't know that in the beginning. But since we know that now, since we know, now you look at this interview totally different now. It, it was a conversation in the back. I know you guys got Facebook, so I know you heard the conversation what motherfuckers were saying. Um, <laughs> who, 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 did any one of you guys see anybody try to force themselves upon her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, I, I, I'm gonna ask it. This Zach TV, I asked the crazy shit. Take I, another I, I Zach and Rob up, now. No disrespect yeah. intended. So nobody tried to rape. Hell no. Just started. Just began when that shit I ran did that live. Who just, saw? She just started. Yeah. Just started. I'm afraid that's what she got on live before motherfuckers started coming, right? Okay. Pre recorded. Since dude in the red sweater was on the bed late, you know what I'm saying? You can see through the reflection of her glasses around 306 or whatever. Uh, that's the time in the, in, 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 in the video. Where were you? A Notice he keeping up with the time of the video and Irene lying about the link of the video. But when he talk about what he's seen on the footage of the manager and all this, he don't give you the timestamp and he ain't never told everybody, look, I seen the manager. This the manager I'm talking about. Go to this footage and this him right here. This is who I got the interview with. Now watch this game. Peep out this. Peep, peep this out. Approximately in that video. Probably somewhere sitting on the other bed, probably standing up dancing anywhere. I don't know. Somebody how, in the room. So in that room, how many rooms was in this one room? This one. So so it was one room in like so it was one. how many two beds? beds. We two walk beds. in that bed in two beds right there. Desk, a little desk right there. Two beds, man. Bathroom to the left, bathroom to the right of you, you know. That's, you know. So it wasn't a suite, it was just a regular room. Nah, it wasn't no suite, it was a regular room. Right. Okay, yeah. um, and we know we in Chicago, y'all from out west, correct? Yeah, we know out west. So, when you look at this interview, just look at interview, just look at this interview that Zach keeping peas and killer in check. I'm gonna do the interview. I just need you to say this because y'all was in the room, you know, the video was pre recorded. Cause you get out of line, King Rob gonna get up with you. That's why King Rob called Peace and Killer Whistle. Cheese and Whistle. Cause Peace like the cheese. And Killer got a missing tooth. And when he talk, he whistle. This what King Rob had a problem with because look how much clout Zach getting now watch this that's motherfuckers dance they bop right <laughs> they bop okay so y'all was in that y'all was getting y'all thug this one on the shit bop and having a nice time be, be, be real this Zach TV this for the streets the hood sitting in y'all have some looking yeah, okay yeah. Did motherfuckers have some weed? Yeah, motherfuckers smoking out. Was motherfuckers off Zans? No, no, I was fucking Okay, y'all don't fuck. Okay, okay, motherfuckers don't fuck with Zans. So, so. There's cheese. So, Kanika, what, what was she What was she drinking? Uh, they drinking some hen, I think. Yeah, hen. Yeah, 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 it was hen. They had the big hen out the bar. Okay, okay. How was she drinking her shit? Was she drinking her shit straight from the bottle or from the cup? She had a little cup. Okay, but then she, she eventually grabbed yeah. the bottle, right? Yeah, she always said it. You know how we get in. You know how everybody get in. It, the was y'all like, damn, slow down, show or was this her regular? Yeah, that's how we be getting in. That's how we be having one. That's what's up, you know, they can't stop you. They can't stop you. They can't stop you. Yeah, my friend was high. I'm feeling good. Yeah, they don't, you know, that's what's up. Just like how you drink, how we the guys, they the cute, that's what's up, you know. They know you feel me. No over, they wasn't overdoing nothing like that. They just having a good time. Have you ever saw Kanika under the influence before? Yeah, I seen her influence. We had a party. She waiting for that. Yeah. So, so this was. Now y'all see this? Hi y'all. That when I say y'all show some love and thumb your boy up. Let's let's thumb Kanika up, cause I don't want to say thumb me up. Let's thumb Kanika up, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's, look, that's what they were saying in the beginning that Zach was coaching on the questions. 
And at first, at first, when I first seen Zach TV interview, before they was tired to talk about it, he was coaching them. I always felt like, I'm like, man, he ain't even asked the right question that I want to ask. Like, because you, because. Cause look at the mindset that y'all had in the beginning of the case, you know what I'm saying? And you want to know what happened to Kanika. Look at the question Zach was asking. It's the same thing go along with the police report. It wasn't even the real question. Like who was all in the room? What's their names? You see what I'm saying? What's their name? Who was all in there? What time this was going on? Uh, in Irene live video, you uh, they saying that Irene was responding to a text message. This was in the beginning, cause they was always was showing like, look, Irene. This is why they looking in the phone, cause Irene responded to a text message. That's why you see Monifa talking about, yeah, somebody text message me, and we were like, who they be text message? And we think it's they text message some niggas. But the whole time, that's I, that's that's living over and Miss Teresa, bro. That's living over and Miss Teresa. The whole time when we were thinking, like, man, they text a nigga, come outside, we outside with this outside, and we thinking it might be them dudes. But what if the whole time that's living over them, bro, and the mama? Cause look, you finna get your answer in this live video right here. Look at the question. Just let the people know. Yeah. This was regular shit, right? Yeah, yeah. regular shit. Regular routine. Routine. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Wake up here weekend. Probably like last year. Every weekend we was with each other. Right. That's our, that's our homie. Probably like the last two years. Every right. weekend. We can't. At Miss Teresa House, cause Miss Teresa known for, you know what I'm saying? Throwing little, you know what I'm saying? Little get togethers at her house, bro. You see that? Peas and Killer was in and out of Miss Teresa's house because they ain't got a stable house of their own. They just smashed somebody in their circle and these niggas some poor niggas and stand with these folks from time to time. You see what I'm saying? Look. Kicking it hard. Kicking okay. It hard. So, this, so this was just regular everyday shit yeah. nothing spectacular y'all ain't think oh she gonna get sick oh, yeah. oh, no, oh. she be over in it okay. no okay. 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 Like that, that. we just I don't like you know this... try to play like like she be over in it or Irene be over no it ain't never nothing like that man. okay when y'all start seeing social media and everybody in a motherfucking mama blaming Irene uh, what, what, what was y'all what was y'all thinking like what the fuck yeah yeah that's yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man Cause, you know, that's how real that thing. That's that girl, real life friend. They like this. Yeah, she was going hard trying to they find. Real life. We want to allow no shit friend. like that. No, we we, nah, we don't get down like that. We don't get kids though. and little sisters and all like that. Oh, we, don't, we don't do nothing like that. We don't condone none. No, no, no activities like that, man. Yeah, nah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, when when they came in the room and 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 they was saying shit like, um, she she missing. What was y'all doing? What was y'all initial reaction? We thinking we she left with a nigga though to tell the truth. We ain't we ain't thinking I know she finna be weird ass and she finna be like that mean thing. So motherfuckers they lean with their niggas and shit. Bro, this is cold in the mud. This is cold in the mud, bro. That's why he asking though a particular question. He asking he getting straight to the question that going to clear him and his nigga now. Was Kanika still in the room on the night? Yes. Was she was in the hallway on the night at 2.30? Yes. Did she was drinking alcohol? Yes. Same thing, the police report. You see what I'm saying? Look at the face, look. Just imagine, look, just imagine if you got a big homie and you at a party with your big homie and your big homie bust a move. He ain't finna rat your big homie out. 
but to make sure you don't rat out big homie finna ask uh zach look do that interview do that interview because before he do the interview king rob already gonna explain to them yeah this is what you need to be saying well is that tv so watch this she like yeah. don't know on some branch off you know, yeah. know yeah she we ain't taking it real serious like that took after the fact exactly. i'm like damn she really gone that's me yeah, like just like no Nah, First, you know, yeah. Like, so y'all like, ain't y'all y'all like make it the fuck out of here. Go get it. Like yeah, like get the fuck out of here. Not like get the fuck out of here. Like get the fuck on with it. No, like man, she probably with that nigga. You know, she right. probably with something. She probably, you know, right. ain't thinking. You feel me? Not never thinking for the worst. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. Okay. Like okay. When she w w w when y'all realize shit serious. She's serious. Yeah. What did y'all do? Uh, yeah. She went for real. What did anybody else to do? Do the do. Do the do. do. Flow the flow. Oh, Around the looking. So y'all going like, what, what time? It, it was three, four in the morning? Yeah, like, yeah. Four. Yeah. And y'all going. Three, four in the morning. This how you finna, this why you finna understand why P said the mama was in it, the aunt was in it, the cop. He was in it. It's like Tessa Tower Chain Massacre. Because we got receipts that Mr. Teresa was there at 4 in the morning. Keto Brown said this. In the beginning of the page, the police showed up 3, 4 in the morning. Prince K told us what was going on. 3, 4 in the morning. That's why he said it's deeper than what you think. Because what if peace actually showed up for the reenactment and didn't know what's going on? That's why he's saying so much. Because if he was actually in on it, he would have stuck to the script. That's why he was like, well, I picked a lot of things that were going on in the room, like, well, some don't sit right with me. That's when the mama was in it, the cop we was in it. Because I'm going to tell y'all like this here. He's one at the pool area. I know that much. Because Franz K told you who was at the pool area. He didn't even mention he's our killer. Bruh, y'all better wake up. Check this out. Go to my video and read the letter. He didn't say peas were there. He didn't even say killer was there at the pool. He said the dude that was responsible for Kanika disappearing was at the pool with her. So that mean they're going to be Zach, Rob, possibly be t Screep. Right, gang? Because in that man, we thinking man, man, because man, man in the hallway. If this is reenactment on the night, that mean... That when we seen man man in the hallway and Kanika didn't roll no hall, that means man man would probably would design for us to look at him like, ooh, let that go to dude in all black. You see what I'm saying? Now they got suspects to look at on the footage, but ain't got nothing to do with the murder. Ain't got nothing to do with the murder. Listen to the question. Y'all don't give a fuck who sleep. Y'all knocking on every door. Hey, y'all seen her? Anything? Y'all seen her? Anything? Y'all seen the girl in the blue jean jacket? Y'all seen her friend? What anybody else do? They say they friend missing. Everybody start participating. Look. And y'all told, and is it true? Y'all said no. Y'all told the, the security, play the camera back. Yeah, yeah. And we 
walked up to the front desk, first of all, when we told him, man, when we told the guy behind the desk, we say, oh, you seen our friend, our friend's missing, man. His reaction was. It's 3 4 in the morning. Keep this in mind. I want to say P's going to be in the dark. Cause this is where he talking. This 3 4 in the morning. I show y'all what was going on at 3 4 in the morning. You didn't see peas in the hallway when when uh them people were standing at the back door, right? There's two going on three. So there'll be four. If you look at the footage, when them people were standing at the back door, they showed up later. He's got to be in the dark because he's like, man, I went down. You know, I was like, I want to know why I was. I go in their kitchen. But look, it looked like it was strange things that were going on. But the whole time, killer quiet. It wasn't like a regular reaction that somebody that works at a hotel, if you behind the front desk of a hotel, a big hotel like that, you you would think that they would be more concerned. You would think that they gonna call the police. You gonna think that they right. gonna get right. a hand reaching out to us. They it wasn't it wasn't too much like a. So just look at it like this here. He probably showed up at the reenactment and didn't know nothing about the Kanika Jenkins case. You see what I'm saying? He didn't even know. Cause he telling you like, man, we went to the front desk round three and four. Cause, cause if you pay attention to the footage, everybody dodging peas. They leaving peas behind. He was still in the room the whole time. And, oh, and the next time when you see him, he with Monif and them. Walking through the hotel. And you think he will be walking through the hotel if he was a part of it, of a murder? Man, you better use your common sense. Because that's how Miss Teresa getting away with this shit, bro. Concerned for me, we really kind of walked. He brushed us off and he walked off. He started, he went back behind. He walked off, leaving his desk unattended, actually. Like, mm. like it wasn't really, you know, like it ain't that. Yeah, like it ain't that. Fuck, like he don't give a fuck. Like he don't get no fuck. Did y'all, did y'all feel discriminated against at any given moment in time? Like, man, is they being any racist? Any moment in time, man. I, Shit, uh, I felt disrespected from the moment we told him, hey, XY, you did me ABC. And he said XYZ. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Man, Look at Kilo. Yeah, I ain't expect that. Mm. Killing you know, the days. Response. We all expected you to, you know, get on the phone, do something, at least show us. Act like show you some proof. Act like you care. It wasn't like that. Okay. Okay. And Killer was just in a deep ad day. So look. Um. That's that, that that shit, just shit, that shit just don't seem right. So when y'all going, when y'all start looking for it, y'all realize, damn, she nowhere in this motherfucker. What what else came to mind? Nah, we still, we thought she was a nigga, y'all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Be, 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 real, be, real, be real, be real, bro. Be real. We, we trying to hope for the best. We not thinking of no. no what you mean? Like at what that. point in time? Like, was you talking at the point in time was we walking around mm -hmm. the, the hotel accent? That's what you mean? Yeah. Like, when we got yeah. rid of that time. Yeah. Oh shit! At that time, like once again, no reaction. I'm motherfucker still looking hard, but you know we all we out here in this hunky town. Like, well, I don't want to say no, you know, but you know what it is. Yeah, you know. We all out there for them. They can't do too much because they're going to get us removed in the yeah. dope, just like what's going on with them protesting. So you get to bark on a tree that, that, that touch a nerve, they're going to they gonna get you up out of there. Yeah. <clears throat> and when we was walking around there, look, after, after, even after all that, it still was never. They didn't come tell us, like, yeah, we finna put y'all out of, yes, y'all disturbing the peace. They never said nothing to us. They wanted y'all to stay. They didn't say anything. Blankly didn't say nothing. There wasn't no concern. It wasn't no, hey, yeah, y'all disturbing the peace. We finna put y'all out. Ooh, no. no. They, who went, who went? To be honest, we couldn't find nobody. We okay. literally walking around like, where's the help? Where's yeah, the hotel security? security? Where did they go? See, dude, everybody just we didn't see, dude. We didn't see nobody. We didn't see nobody. We seen main two. When, when, the, when the party was going on, when it was, when it was jumping, it was buzzing. It was two main security guards that was coming in there. And after we started looking for her, we looking, we looking for hotel security. Like, man, somebody to help, you know? Somebody that can go in the back. Somebody that can go not get the access to open door. None of that. We didn't see nobody. We didn't get no help. We 
Yeah, okay. I mean, it wasn't, no, it wasn't like they was concerned. Okay. This personal the realest shit. Like the PP. Oh, that's a oh, personal problem, but double P. This the realest shit I heard on some real shit, some real Chicago shit. You like, we had a party, we thinking, so he dipped off with a nigga. Yeah, you know it's that. Chicago. Man. We know what, come on, bro. We from the West. We know. Real period, this the, man. Oh, oh shut up. I see how y'all coming. You know how come uh, on, Okay. We can't find it, man. What Kendra at? Oh, Kendra. Because you know, my, 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 my. my. Kendra is Kanika cousin. We can't find Kendra. What Kendra it? Right? So. Hold on, y'all. I'm ready to check, y'all. So, they looking for Kanika cousin Kendra. Two in the morning. Kendra missing. Irene still in the room. She said she never left the room. But Monifa walking around the hotel with Shamaya. But Bree Bree is not present. Bree Bree is gone. You see what I'm saying? King Rob, Zach, Shrey Drop, Marco. We don't know where they at in the hotel. Now this on the night. I believe the night is the cover up. It's not the murder. It's the cover up. I believe something happened to Kanika before the night. You can't commit a murder and do a cover up. Look, you cannot commit a murder, do a cover up, and reenact and on the same day, on the same night, all the this at two in the morning. So, you mean to tell me, can y'all put this together? Ooh, Bree Bree left the hotel at two some. And Miss Teresa in cahoots with Bree Bree at Tucson. Bree Bree and Miss Teresa, Irene, Lirinora, Monifa, Shemaya, all knew what was going on at Tucson in the morning. Now you know why Miss Teresa covering up for Zach and his dude. My thoughts, as well as everybody on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Periscope, Instagram. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, all right, all right, we good. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this. I'm thinking this. Like, why the fuck and who the fuck would leave their friend behind? But y'all saying she probably dipped off with somebody on some other shit. So we think bro, about, look, it, was, it wasn't like a motherfucker left her for a whole day. It's like a motherfucker was like for two minutes left. They took out her outside for two minutes, bro, yeah. and then went back to look, and then she, it was gone. And like so, if I walk to go piss right now, you ain't gonna just think, I, oh, let me knock on the bathroom. He been in the bathroom for a long time. A motherfucker yeah. took me through it. Man, you ain't gonna be thinking no shit like that. Yeah. You gonna be broke. Took a long time. Then to the morning come, you damn folks still in the bathroom. Now you might open the door. So you bogus for letting me go piss in the bathroom by your, by myself? No, nobody thinking like that, bro. No. No matter what they, if it would have been that motherfucker would have been while the party was deep, the motherfucker would have been looking through the hotel. Motherfucker yeah. be like, oh yeah, she probably exactly. went, yeah. got up with a motherfucker real quick. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. So when y'all was in the car, the yo, who had her mother keys? Cause I read that in the paper. Uh, oh, I got, I got a different car. Yeah. Oh, y'all didn't go with the. Oh, oh y'all didn't, didn't ride okay. with them. They rolled different. Everybody yeah, rolled. Yeah. You know, the hotel. Everybody rolled. You know, get your ride. Yeah. Everybody oh. rolled separately. What was y'all thoughts? You know what I'm saying? Leaving, leaving the hotel that night. What's uh? Homie, that's we're ready to start to the next exactly. Like, right. at, at, at that next point in time. Like, now look, y'all don't see this. Now they got everybody thinking when you watch the video on September the seventh of uh, these people booking the room on the credit card fraud, right? You automatic thinking they booking room nine twenty six. 
No. When they were booking uh them rooms on the seven, there was all the rooms they booked on the ninth floor. Room 926 wasn't even booked yet, bro. They booked room 926 on the eighth. When they book room 926 on the 8th, look at the key card. Room 926. Somebody checked in the room. 918 p.m. Look. Watch this game. Y'all want to know how really scary this is? This is this. I'm finna show you the real reason why Kanika wasn't in room 926, bro. Because it is. Look. September the 9th. 8.46 p.m. In the system in Rosemont. Missing. 918. Look when they got in the, look, look. Look. Three thirty two PM And y'all mean to tell me you still think Kanika was in room nine twenty six with all the receipts? All the receipts that's out here. Look, housekeeping. Then they just gave y'all anything. See that? While searching the basement area again, Watson used his portable camera. Now look, everybody know this for a fact. When they were talking that when they were talking about the basement area, they were talking about the lower level in the kitchen. There's a camera that's gonna be above the freezer, looking at the freezer somewhere on the lower level. That's what Mr. Reese was talking about. Not the freezer upstairs. Matter of fact, it's the camera that's on Shandale Avenue. That's the camera that's going to shine on the freezer. See what I'm saying? So they telling you how she was in the lower level kitchen in the walk-in freezer on the lower level kitchen where Kanika was at and who found her Walsh Walsh is a police officer a high-ranking police officer he don't do nothing but respond to crisis It ain't like uh, my child missing and she end up in the freezer. Then he respond. No, it don't work like that. He responds to crisis event, meaning that why would he be at the hotel discovering somebody in the freezer? This the same police officer. Oh, fuck, she in the freezer. Walsh. Walsh, right? Walsh. This is like me getting in trouble at a warehouse. Like, man, I done shipped all the orders on the wrong truck. And my boss coming to my defense. My manager will come to my defense 
And like, look, I found the boxes. You know what I'm saying? Look, this ain't no real. You would never. Look, how many of y'all know that if you call a police on any kind of crime, ain't no commander finna pop up unless it's a hostile situation going on? I knew it was something wrong when I looked at the police that they were doing the in the, the investigation. I'm like, man, these all high ranking police officers. Cause usually when you call the police, you got regular police officers showing the regular and rookies. Regulars and rookies, bro. If they come up on a serious situation, then they call the supervisors. Then the supervisor called like, you know what I'm saying, the captain. You see what I'm saying, gang? I'm like, why is all these psycho look? If you ever if you ever did time in the system, and if you've been locked up right, they're just like, if you got a bunch of rookie police officers coming in. You know, they coming in there to do a, a script search. They breaking the rookie officers in. But like, this how you do the script search. This how you treat the inmates. Only time when you see supervisors and captains, if he got to do something with a cover up and they got something to do with it. For a prime example, just say if I fight a nigga and I end up hurting him real, real bad. And he in, and he in the... And he in the hospital, right? Now the turn the first want to be involved. Like, why he in the hospital? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? We need the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? And this thing, you know, you got all the captains and all the sergeants want to do a thorough search of the pod. Shut up. So look. Boom. This the same person said, oh, man, I found her in the freezer. And, and don't he look like the assistant beverage manager that works security? You see what I'm saying? Look, don't he look like the, the, the beverage manager work security that locked the freezer up? Look, what time that is? Irene said, how did that freezer even get turned on? That freezer supposed to be off from our understanding. I'm like, how she know the freezer wasn't even working? Watch this game. Pre-recorded live videos. That's why. That's why the video just showed the full HD. Cause once you get a video, just say like if I look, everybody know this. Just say if you if you take a video in your phone and you record it in in, in, in HD, and I got an Obama phone. Cause I everybody can't afford like an iPhone and stuff, so I got an Obama phone and I screen record your video. Cause my video gonna show as a low quality, cause I ain't got the same features. So if you got a bunch of people, sh 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 you know I'm talking about screen recording this video with low quality. What you think you finna get? Hi y'all. Appreciate the super chat. Appreciate the cash out game too, y'all. And I appreciate the love and the support and stuff. So y'all see what I'm saying right now? Look. Now look. They even talking about another security guard. If you read this... Look, 
if if everybody tell me if every if, if, if everybody read that letter with Franz K said, look, this what was going on in the pool. Macho told me uh what happened to her in the parking lot leading to the patio and to the pool. He just don't know how she got there. Then you got an employee reaching out to another YouTuber actually dropped the name and said this person named Travis and he works for the Rosemont Police Department. You see what I'm saying? And he also works security because the police department work security on they, you know what I'm saying? On they, on they second job. So they mentioned Travis. So boom, when they mentioned Travis, look what they saying. Travis was the one that picked her up from the freezer room. He fought Travis. You see what I'm saying? So at this point, you got to really be like, like, like the Matlock, like lawyer Matlock, goddamn, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Let me see, uh, how can you really spill the tea on this case? All right, you got Miss Teresa Durr out in the hotel at two something, but she ended up showing at the hotel at four something. But if you go back to two something, that's when Bree Bree supposed to be leaving round two something. So Bree Bree leaving around two some and Miss Teresa called the hotel at two some and Bree Bree got the keys to the goddamn car. That ain't hard to figure that out. But what Bree Bree had going on with Miss Teresa while Livernora on the phone talking to uh Moniva and Irene because they still gonna be in the room with the phone. So if you got the Susan text in the phone, so you already know they answering these text messages. You see what I'm saying? So they let you know Miss Teresa and Livinora had some knowledge before 12 o'clock that Kanika was already with the thieves, bro. Cause why would Little Nora got the lie and say, I ain't talking to my sister at 1.30, but when it comes to the police report, you know what I'm saying? You had physical contact. See what I'm saying, guys? So they telling you, go to the video, 1.30. You will see the front desk. So what they were basically seeing, gang, to make a long story short, Look, Kanika will be in the hands with security. Think about it. What if Desagnum got inside uh, with the security? And, and, and Zach did his little thing with Kanika, then Rob did his thing with Kanika. By robbing them, Zach and them probably were cool with security. They like, damn, let me get my, get me, let me get in. You see what I'm saying? And security fucked up and got in, bro. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no other way. Cause check this out. If it was all about Zach and Rob and them, what happened to Kanika? Why did Crown Plaza have to cover that up? If that was the case, bro. Shut up. You see what I'm saying? Because it always stuck in my head. Man, look, I ain't never known the police would cover up a crime for black people. If it's anything, they plant evidence on it. But if they covering up a crime, bro, they benefiting from it. They know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, appreciate the thumbs up too, y'all. But look, this boy really finna get crazy too. Because he said security when they got in front of the room by the freezer. Now, we don't know. We ain't talking about the kitchen upstairs. They got to be on the lower level. He went and got her from the room. Cause that's what free that ain't that what Irene said? This what make the story finna sound real. Cause cause Livinora said, Yeah, we 
they took us to the freezer room. Before you get to the uh freezer, it's a freezer room. Y'all remember what she said about a freezer room? And I'm like, look, y'all, y'all hear what she keeps saying? It's a freezer room. Now you got this person saying the freezer room. She wanted to go to the pocket lot. She pulled away and made it outside. And seconds later, and she came back in. And they kept saying, no, no, no. She not going back up there. One time she said, really lag it the fuck out my arm. That means they got to be an audio. You know what I'm saying? An audio to hear these words. Meaning that this person could be a witness, bro. This could have been somebody that actually witnessed and just be like, look, I'm a staff member and I'm going to tell you what's going on. But they're going to break it down like I saw this on the footage. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Lena Love, you remember when Bigfoot Rafin went down on the lower level? She was like, look, this where all the freezers and coolers at around her. This where I believe Kanika was running around it. Hi y'all. Appreciate the thumbs up, gang. Appreciate the thumbs up. Now look, no one knows what happened after that because they came to the front desk panicking, saying that she was in the pool, but those us who work her knew that was impossible. You see what I'm saying? Security went out. Look, went out her friends and they said they were very scared. She was all wet and her mouth was busted. She was dead at the pool. Our security called the manager. Look, and they said to move her. Go to Fred's cave letter where he sent me and read this again. And read this again. Because guess what? Man, we just solved the case, bro. That's why Zach TV said, Y'all want to know who Kanika was downstairs with? Security. Ain't that what Zach TV said? Watch this. We don't know. She was dead in the kitchen. And we knew I were. But look, you just said she was dead in the pool. But now she dead in the kitchen. So we know she's still going to be alive in the pool. But on the way to the transport in the kitchen, she's still going to be alive. But that's when the security said, this when the security will lock her in the freezer, just like the lawyer said. So you mean to tell me if this person told you that she would last with security and the lawyer told you she would last with security and they got video footage of who locked her in the freezer. That's why it's like now. Come on. Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying, guys? So that's why Zach was like, yeah, that's why the security was down there. That's why Scrape Job was like, yeah, security was choking Kanika out by the ice machine. But they never tell you about the salt that happened, but they did. Because if you look at it, if you look at it the way that it had, it had, it's supposed to win, it's supposed to win that. They supposed to assault her, film it, and show it all to embarrass her. That was the original plan, according to the rumors. Until security got involved. Come on now. And 
And you got yeah. Miss Teresa cool with that? Because cause that's who she pointing the fingers at security. Why you ain't pointing the finger at if you really want just for your daughter? Why you ain't point the fingers at the, the crime that was committed before the murder? This make me so mad, y'all. Just a man that took her to the kitchen with the security guard. Just the man that took her. Then look, he's an African male. He been here before, and he got long dreadlocks. Look. He come in here all the time. Come on, y'all. Hi, y'all. Then look. Watch this. Now, you know, Scholar, there goes Zaria Walls. I made her a moderator in my group, gang. If you was in my group, you know this person right here. At this time, I didn't even know this was family to Kanika Jenkins. I didn't know nothing about Zaria. And this lady was in my inbox. That's why Miss Teresa don't want to spawn the Trey Gang. That's why the bitch can't say nothing about Trey Gang. Her and them ugly ass funky bitches over there can't say nothing because I got receipts. This bitch. She know. We wouldn't have left. Hmm. Man, I'm so mad at Miss Teresa because it was many nights that I done set up here and was hesitating to reach out to that lady. It was time that when I done go over some little things i'm like man this made mitch reese look guilty and i was and i don't want to say nothing because i'm thinking about like what what the people would think you know what i'm saying i'm gonna lose the scrabble because i'm like man fuck losing the scrabble i'm gonna tell the truth regardless you know, somehow, if I lose a motherfucker telling the truth, man, I really lose a whole motherfucking squad and gang angels, bro. And when I peep out the game, I'm like, oh, man. These people really played me. I cannot dress my... My payout gang to let them know, man, the family was the one who was harassing me. The family was the one that was in Trey Gang inbox. The family was the one that was contacting Trey Gang every day. They seen something that I didn't see. Cause they the one be like, Trey Gang, get a Facebook group. I'm like, man, I ain't just with all that fact. Get a Facebook group, Trey Gang. I'm like, man, they was just they was harassing me to make a Facebook group. Then when I get the Facebook group, I'm like, okay, boom. They would look. Now I made the Facebook group. Now let me be a moderator. I'ma let you know who all suspects. I'm like, oh yeah. I still got all these receipts, bruh. Messages. 
Why the hell you think the other YouTubers ain't saying nothing? And your favorite YouTube, y'all got one more favorite YouTuber out here. No, I'm talking about ain't nobody looking at that person suspect though. No, I'm talking about, and I ain't gonna say no name. You know what I'm saying? But you still got one more YouTuber ain't gonna say none. But you J for K though. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah, I'm reading the chat, y'all. Oh, yeah, look. You read all the this. This ain't nothing but Miss Therese. Look, this ain't nothing but Livernora side of the family. And look who they going against. Monif. You see what I'm saying? So you might as well just say Livernora side probably didn't fuck with Monifa like that. You know what I'm saying? Monifa wasn't in their circle like that. So point the finger at Monifa. Because you know Monifa wasn't having none. She was always dusty. You know what I'm saying? Funny looking. Looking like a goddamn koala girl. You know the zoo. You know you go to a zoo. You know what I'm saying? And be like yeah where your uh Japan's is at? You know what I'm saying? They're like you gotta go over there and uh I'll fold where the monkey sits in there. You see you know what I'm saying? But then again I don't want to clown Monifa like that because I don't want to be. Because what if it is true that Monifa would just want to be friends and she was cool with Kanika and she was just that slow enough to, to, to these people manipulate her and didn't even know what she was doing. I don't know. We got to fire uh, Miss Teresa ass up. Y'all know what? I'm about to get started. I want to fire Miss Teresa, Lirinora, and everybody else that got something to do with it. I want to fire Miss Teresa and them ass up right now. Right now. Because she already look like Miss Potato Head. Go watch the commercial right now of Miss Potato Head. Not the new version. Go back to when they were showing you Miss Potato Head back in the 80s. If you see those old 80s commercials of Miss Potato Head, man, they Miss Teresa all day long. Look at Lira Nora. Now, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you might got a body because you might got a big booty and no stomach and some titties. Hey, but your attitude got you looking like Dracula, bitch. You Eddie monster looking at bitch out the Adam family. You know what I'm talking about? Because what you remind me of. You know what I'm talking about? Man. Because look. Because I was looking at the news report. I'm Because I started noticing. I'm like, damn, I ain't never noticed. Miss Teresa here with that goddamn swole. Y'all was talking about the eye, and I'm looking at the head like, damn, is that a tumor? You know what I'm talking about? She need to get the head checked. Because I'm, cause I looked, I'm like, that motherfucker too round and plump. You might got to call Frank and Dr. Dr. Frankenstein. Be like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Trey Gang, we did a diagnose on her ass. Yeah, she a smart motherfucker. This bitch got two brains. I'm like, what? Yeah, she got two brains. That's how we, that's how the bitch tricked us. I ain't know she had two brains, bro. Look, look, she got the trap brain. And the butt god brain, you know what I'm talking about? So when we were trying to look at her from the hood style, she hit her with the, uh, you know what I'm talking about? She done tapped in with her spiritual demons 
and the spirits of demons, you know what I'm talking about? Look, look, we was like, we want to know, we praying this shit, like, what happened to Kanika? I can't sleep at night, I need to know the truth, and Mr. Teresa feeling no prayers, we're like, look, we got to, she done called Satan. You know what I'm talking about? So Satan filled her head up so goddamn much, her head done got swole. That motherfucker so big, goddamn much. I was like, damn. Instead of them cutting your chest open, looking in your titty for counsel, goddamn, they need to look in your motherfucking head, bitch. That's why I couldn't be no doctor. Because if I was a doctor, if I see one of these big head motherfuckers out here, I need them in my office. Come here. Look. Look, just imagine a doctor, he races and he white and he see Teresa be like, damn, look at the skull. Oh my God. Are you sure that's an African? I don't know about that. They heads ain't that goddamn big, you know what I'm talking about? And it's like, you know, they didn't look. They didn't told her to come in and, you know, because they got, they want to do some surveys. So they asked her all these questions and be like, uh, who your God? And she's like, but God. Now they checking off little check miles on the clipboard and she like, mm hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Breath smell like ripple. No, she been drinking this shit. And then they looking at her face like, damn, she ain't got no eyebrow. Because if you look at our Miss Teresa uh, picture, she don't have no eyebrow. She paint them John's on, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So they looking at her like, damn, she ain't got no eyebrow. This suspicious. So they start checking more shit out the clipboard like no eyebrow. Check. Swole head. Check. Man, look at her chest. No titties? Yeah, they gone too. Check, check, check. Look, they look. That's what they said. Uh, that that's what they said. Cause when they got Miss Teresa, and when they were trying to do operate, they were like, "All right, we got to put you to sleep." And they tried to put a breathing tube down her uh, her throat. They said her breath was so goddamn stanky, bro. You know what I'm talking about? You know the doctor. You know when the doctor when they stick their breathing tube, they you got to say ah. Say they had the whole goddamn room smell like that. Look. Look. It, they said when Miss Teresa was in surgery, right? When they bust her gown open, because you know she ain't had titties at the time. She built like a Muhammad Ali in the chest. Y'all go look up on Muhammad Ali when he was in there prime. Yeah, him and Miss Teresa, they shaped just like they got the same body build. That's why she said she was working in those school cafeteria because she was the one that unloaded the meat truck. You know, Miss Teresa unloading the meat truck, you know what I'm saying? Soon when that uh, truck come in and shit. She kind of work drunk. You know, you know, Miss Teresa, she look like one of no, uh she look like one of no co-workers. You know, them old ladies, they always be talking about them little young girl. Look at that young whippersnapper. Yeah, hanging on them little young thick girls in there. That's cute. They could be models and shit. And she look like a witch. Because when she had all that goddamn makeup on, I'm like, man, this Dracula. This ain't no Miss Teresa. This got to be Dracula, bro. 
I thought my man was playing tricks on me because that's what I was playing in the background. My man playing tricks on me. Then me Teresa coming up in that time. I said, but God. Because you know what I'm saying? Man? I'm like, man, what's all this fuckery going on? Then the Kush smoking too. And I'm really confused at this point because I'm like, man, this really got to be something special. This is what they said, Miss Teresa left titty smell like peanut butter. They said when she got out of surgery and shit, you know what I'm talking about? When she got that infection, she had the whole house smelling like lunch meat. Look. They told me to recently, like, we got to do a CAT scan on your head. Guess what they found in that job? A deal, though. <laughs> they found Joe Black in that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know who Joe Black is. That's that long and strong that's on the, on the top shelf. They said when they were cutting her chest open, you know what I'm saying? They were like, we got to, shit, take your titties away. Because, cause, cause cause look, that's reason. She trying to tell y'all she had breast count. You wouldn't know we got damn breast cancer, bro. She never had titties, bro. Man, that lady never had no titties, bro. I looked at all her pictures. I'm like, wait a minute. What'd you say? Booty jewelry. <laughs> Man, y'all say any goddamn thing. I'm going to release these pictures too because I got straight job, you know what I'm saying, on stage and shit, but nigga with nipple piercing. And he got some booty jewelry on too. Don't y'all know how them Mexicans... They had that wallet and with the chain attached to their wallet and, and they come to the front and, and lip on their belt loop. They said they were a straight dry guy. He got a booty ring. They said he got dimples in his booty. I'm like, what? They said, yeah, straight drive got a nice rum. You know what I'm talking about? He'll grease that John up and show you the dimples and everything. Man, no, this can't be true. You know what I'm talking about? That's why they call him straight drive. But they said when Miss Teresa was getting surgery, Dr. Frankenstein was like, I'm going to cut that frame open. I'm going to cut that head open and see what's all in that motherfucker. Said nothing but deal those fell out that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Scrape Jaw got dimples in his booty. That's why he don't want to confront Trey Gang, because I got the photos, and he don't want me to release them, John. That's why he ain't fucking with me no more. Because I know King Rob gave, because he, cause he'll tell you. Cause I'm like, wait a minute now. I don't hang with little boys. You know what I'm talking about? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't really hang with gay people, bro. And I ain't got nothing against them. I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just finna hang with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No. Not in private. If I'm gonna fuck with you, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of witnesses around me. We gonna be at a barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Cause you might be one of those be like, ooh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Guess who I'd have slept with? Who bitch? Trey Gang. What? Lying like a motherfucker. You ain't finna do me like this. Yeah, Trey 
But that's why they call Scrape Drop. This what this this how he earned his name. They say they they say they been grooming Scrape Drop in elementary. They said it started out with his daddy. His daddy, you know, to my that ain't his real daddy. That was his stepdaddy. His mama left his real daddy. Now this the truth. They say his the mama left his real daddy and end up with with another man. But now this other man, he likes something like the booty warrior. Y'all know Felipe Johnson. That's how they describe his stepdad. They said Scrape Drive used to come home. They said, look, when when they get out of school, Scrape Drive used to always be scared to go in the house. And they were like, why you don't want to go home? And it took them a while to them to figure out because he had handprints on his booty. You see what I'm saying? Because, look, he went and told the teacher, my stepdad put his hands on my booty and, and they were like, what he put his hand on your booty? Like, yeah, show us what he, how, how he did it. So he would, so he was showing them like he, he touched my booty like this. He said, what they touch, you touch your booty like that. Like, yeah. And what else he did? Then he touched it like this. <laughs> So you know the doctor, he getting turned on the police, and then you know they gave them like, show us some more of this shit. They were like, uh, yeah, he, you know, and he was like, show me your ass, let me see what you know. So he pulled his pants down and showed him the man. He had a big ass handprint on. So they call, look, they call forensic team in there. So, you know, they put black, black dust on his ass, put a felt on top of it to buff out the fingerprint. And they even make it more worse because that turned them on. And it, that's why he sued the police because once they put the, the dust on the booty, and you know the detective, they always got that little, you know, that little flower, you know what I'm saying? You got the, uh. Y'all know the feather with the flower. You got to brush the fingerprints. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. So, that's what he did. So, he had a big-ass handprint on his booty. He probably wouldn't have never told nobody. You know what I'm talking about? So he tried out for basketball and shit, and then he went in that locker room. He had to change clothes in his jaw scrap. And them folks like, damn, man, you got a big-ass handprint on your booty like somebody to squeeze the shit out your booty, boy. Yeah, y'all go back to one of those Ada commercials. Straight drop on one of those commercials. He on one of those, you know, it's in no child abuse commercial. Look, they got straight drop in the back with a cup of water, you know, because he just got beaten up. You know what I'm talking about? Look, he just then got beaten up. They're they going to show a 1 800 number with straight drop. Holding a cup of water. I just want a cup of water. And then they're going to show the stepdad beating the fuck out of him. Is this you? Call you 1 800. <laughs> Look, them old lads, of Bruce, them, them a Bruce commercial, they got a screen drop on that job. They going to come on there with this, that sad ass. Harry Mason song. Nah, nah, nah. And then he gonna come on there, brother. Don't you know it's a thousand kids out right here right now that's getting their booty touched. But you know they going against their will. And then they got straight drop over there in the corner. You know, when the camera pan to the side, you know, he tipped his head to the camera and you know what I'm saying, with the tear drops and shit. Yeah, because, you know, when you donate, when you become a membership, you get to see the exclusive picture. 
Let me see the butt picture. So you know they you, you so you know they passing around the booty pictures and shit like look at these bruises. Oh my god, how look at the size of those handprints. You know, you know, if you smack a nigga ass bare handed down there for twelve fucking rounds, man, that man booty gonna be bigger than goddamn Nicki Minaj. That junk gonna be so swole, you know what I'm talking about? And then he ain't gonna have no kind of defense no more because his booty tender now, you know what I'm talking about? So he can't put up a fight. That's just like what Mike Epps said. He said, that's why they got them young niggas in there working out. As soon as they get through doing all that old push-ups and lifting all those urns and shit, they can't. They ain't gonna be able to live shit when they get tired, you know what I'm saying? So when you got OG little buttercup falling on you, you know what I'm talking about? When you got OG buttercup, Coming in there just to my yeah, curl these and curl this, and you don't work that all day. Like, oh shit, man, I'm finna go back to my cell and I'm finna sleep it all. Man, your arms done got numb and everything. You can't even swing back if you want to. That's why I say, nah, I ain't lifting weights. I just do jumping jacks. Yeah, I just do jumping jacks and I just jog in a certain case. I need to run out this situation, you know what I'm talking about? Everybody trained for the jab, the hook, and slide and glide. See, I'm not a run on nigga. Ass. Yeah, I'm not a run and get out of there and go get that Draco right quick. Cause when I come back. Man, you gonna you gonna have a new living like damn. Man, that man I'm fired that Draco, but it was like thunder. We didn't hear God. They say when God speak, his his name sound like thunder. Yeah, you got OG Buttercup. Man, look. Man, this for real. If you know somebody in the penitentiary, man, look, they do got them names in them penitentiary. Man, you got OG Buttercup, Triple OG Fruity Booty. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, you got all the big homie big butt. You know, they be having no secret name. You know, you got your gangster name, but you also got your uh bedroom name too, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna get on out of here, gang. Cause we be doing too much. You know what I mean? I'm reading the chat, y'all. See what y'all tell me. Yeah, because I bet could man, look. And I swear I I get y'all a mean story by the way I came up. This is how I got turned out. You know what I'm saying? Being smart, intelligent, came from the hood with a college degree, good working background. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to jobs and careers and stuff, you know what I'm talking about? When I say I'm from the street, most people think like, oh man, he he, he gotta be a gang member, you know what I'm talking about? Or, no. Cause I was always one that'll cut your grass every Sunday, you know what I'm talking about? And, 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 and hook your yard up, or probably wash your car, you know what I'm saying? To sell a little bud on the side, and charge a couple of little chicks with a job on the side, but also going to school too, and playing around in the streets and to learn about the gangs, prostitution, 
the dope gang. You know what I'm talking about? In the business side of the streets. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna talk to y'all in my real voice. Cause then y'all be like, man, I knew this nigga was Steve Urkel. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all just don't know. I like to read books and stuff. I don't know what y'all do. I like to read books about uh how to bake a muffin or something. You know what I'm talking about? I'm looking for recipes for the new pie pie chicken. You know what I'm talking about? But what y'all think about P. Diddy, though, y'all? Because I want to do some content about P. Diddy. I ain't know P. Diddy was that gay like that, bro. I ain't know P. Diddy was, was really a freak. Man, when I heard that audio of him and, Luke, and, him and Meek Mills, I'm like, wait a minute, they got to be fake. I'm like, man, they gotta be fake, but it sound like both of them. And I'm like, man, if if that audio was true, that mean P Diddy was killing Lil Meek, bruh. Do you see what I'm saying? It was personal. It was like, that's a relationship, fuck. Like, bitch, you my you my man type shit. And you me said, oh, fuck this shit. And then for another man said, ah, 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 I knew that was a lie. I knew that wasn't a lie. I knew that wasn't a lie. Because I do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? When I smash a chick, bro, and she giving it to you real good, she'll make you... Sing some high notes that you would never, you know, like, like for a prime example. I'm a gangster, right? Not only just, I'm just like a gangster. I don't consider myself as a gangster. I consider myself as a grown man. You but you mean to tell me you would have a female? You know, when a man scream, he supposed to roar. Roar. You see what I'm saying? He supposed to roar like a like a coyote or who he supposed to hound woo you know what I'm talking about. He don't supposed to sound like he mentally ill or a handicapped ah, like he crippled, bro. That just let me know Meek Mill probably got that good booty, bro. If you got P. Diddy screaming like that, bro, and you heard the clapping, you heard the cheats, you heard this shit, bro. And they on the 30s? Man. I don't want to listen to no more Lil Meek song. Cause every time he buzz a flow, that's all I think about. Ah, fuck this shit, nigga. Oh shit, me boy, my booty. You know what I mean? Cause, cause I remember when uh when Nick Minaj heard him, I was like, yeah, I know some of your rappers, they gay too, and she was talking about her own nigga. She was fucking with Lil Meek D. Man, I'm scared to play the recorder. Look, y'all know I got, look, check this out. I'm in traffic when I got the news. And I got a drop top. And just imagine me got my phone and my Bluetooth hooked up to my speakers. And I heard a P. Diddy like, oh, audio been released. P. Diddy and Mick Mills getting it on. So I'm like, man, let me pull to the gas station. Now I'm in the drop top. I'm pulling up on aisle four. Man, you got the Kush man out there trying to get rid of the fruit grams. You got something on pump six, big booty, trying to go get, you know what I'm talking about, probably about $5 on pump six. 
And here I go, I got a slam system in the trunk. And I got this shit turned all the way up. So just imagine I'm pulling up on the scene and, and I got this shit. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha! Fuck this shit, nigga! Oh, 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 oh. oh, you in my Gucci! You know what I'm talking about? You can't turn this shit down quick enough if you got damn near thousand watt amp on the goddamn speakers. You know, I'm pulling up, I'm nosy. You know, I tell my next thing, you know, I'm here. Ah! Oh, shit, nigga. Everybody like, damn, what the fuck he listening to? You know what I'm talking about? Man, I had to jump out my car traumatized, man. Y'all ain't hear that shit, bro. Man, that's that P. Diddy Meek Mill getting it on. They like, look. <laughs> they like, I ain't hear nothing about that. So I show on the phone, car still crunk up, still hooked up to the Bluetooth. Press play. Oh, 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 oh. You can hear this shit down the five C block down the street. <laughs> the motto of this story is you got to be careful what you play on your bluetooth because i would listen to female call you know when they be because y'all just don't know because some of y'all women y'all be part on the job and stuff and be talking on the phone with the windows up with the ac on and probably talking to your side cheek or your side piece but you got this motherfucker on the door speaker, and I could hear the whole goddamn conversation. You see what I'm talking about? Nah, I ain't playing that shit again, bro. I never play that John again. That, that that audio really made me feel some type of way because I ain't never heard two men getting it on. And the way he, the way Lil Meek me, I could just imagine what was going on. He did it and popped a third, a per third, and he got the real ones. He got real doctors, and they get him real dope. So he got the real dope, and they probably got some more dope. Be like, yeah, this for the dick right here. This motherfucker make it. If you touch this motherfucker, and goddamn it, it'll give you a single temptation. Cause we don't know nothing about all the drugs. He done went in that doctor's office and they gave him that magic pill like pop this. And then and then he get in the room, he get a little meat one like, huh? See, he gave him a a, a booty normal. Y'all don't know nothing about them booty numb and they had pills, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you pop that junk, they gonna trick you to my yeah, pop this X pill, then you pop that junk this thing, you know, you can't feel no ass or nothing like that. This thing, you know, your booty got some kind of feeling like damn, why this motherfucker tingling? And then and then he did it gonna Grab it, he gonna touch that joint and they gonna send a shot away to your booty like damn. Never felt that like that before. Next time you know they done gave you a pill, now your booty shaking like jello. That's probably why Lil Me, that's probably why all them rappers always be on stage or double no shirts on. The P Diddy be doing this shit. They signed the P. Diddy, and then look, and P. Diddy, you know what I'm saying? He hired the stylist, to like dress uh, him up. And this thing, you know, they come with a jump with a fishnet shirt, but look, put this on. No. I was looking at some of these rappers, I'm like, man, how you gonna have a t shirt on? and and it ain't even the whole t-shirt. This is like Trey Gang going to buy a white t-shirt, right? A plain ice of white. And I cut hair for the stomach part off. And my neighbor's showing. 
I can't never wear a shirt that would show my stomach. Like, I would feel violated. Like, I can't wear a fucking shirt, bro, if the sleeve's too long on that junk. Because I feel like, nah, this kind of gay. I don't know, bro. Then they trying to trick a nigga like, that's a style now. Put these skinny jeans on. Now they got us in skinny jeans. And, and guess what? We're going to start having skinny jean shorts in a minute. The next thing you know, them shorts going to get so goddamn small and shit, then the cheeks going to start falling out. And I bet you, if if you put Young Thug in them in some in the first man days of dudes, watch how many niggas you gonna be seeing at the corner store in those same ass shorts. Somehow he gang gang, but really he in the rainbow gang. Oh, yeah, we get back on topic. But I'm finna end this live anyway. You know what I'm talking about? I'm finna end this live anyway. I just be having fun at the end of these lives and stuff. Yeah. Cause look, that's just like me buying a dress shirt and just button the look, that's just like if I buy a dress shirt. And if I got, look. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm finna get on up out there, John Gang, cause my stuff up, bro. But I appreciate the love and the support. I appreciate the uh new people that subscribe, the Payao Gang. You know what I'm talking about? I might just end this live and just go live and like. Hang out with y'all. What time is it? It's just nine. Oh, that's all it is. It's just nine, son. I don't know why I was thinking this real late. I might well just come back to y'all in a minute, goddamn. Man, y'all stay tuned. And we finna be right back, gang. Y'all want me to come back, y'all? What y'all want? Me? I can't even really check my phone on broken. Hi, y'all.